Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about production of cheese. So what is cheese and how it is produced and how it is supplied to the markets and how it is manufactured actually each and everything will be discussed in this video. So what is cheese? Cheese is one of the milk based food product which can be produced in wide range of flavors. So normally the cheese is mainly produced from the milk by the fermentation process. Hence it is called as milk based food product and it is available in the markets with different type of flavors. Okay. And normally what, does, what are the proteins which are present in the cheese? What are the nutrients which are present in the cheese? Proteins as well as the fats are the nutrients which are present in the cheese. So we know that the, uh, we, we, I have said you that the cheese is mainly produced from the milk, right? As we know that the milk consists of nutrients like proteins and fats, hence the cheese also consists of proteins and fats, nutrients of the milk because it is mainly prepared from the milk itself. And how this cheese is mainly prepared from the milk? The main theme is casein coagulation. So casein is one of the milk protein which is present in the milk and once that casein proteins are coagulated, then it gets solidified and in such a way that it mainly leads to the formation of cheese. So how this process is done, let us see now. So now let us discuss about the steps which are involved in the production of cheese. So in the first step, what you are going to do is that you are going to take the milk and you are going to stabilize it for one day and then you are going to heat that milk for 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. So you are going to heat the milk at the temperature of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius and now after that heating that heated milk will undergo acidification. Acidification is a process where you are going to add the starter culture. So what is meant by the starter culture? Starter culture is nothing but it is a type of liquid culture which is which mainly plays a major and vital role for lactose to get converted into lactic acid. So the lactose is nothing but the sugars which is present in the milk right and that sugar that lactose which is present in the milk will get converted into lactic acid and this conversion can be done by the starter culture right. So now you have understood about the use of the starter culture right. So what is starter culture? Starter culture is a type of liquid culture which is mainly used to convert lactose into the lactic acid. And this process is called as acidification because we are converting this lactose into lactic acid, acid. Hence, this process is called as acidification, right? And don't forget here the starter culture plays a major and vital role. And now after acidification, what you are going to do is that coagulation. So that's what I have explained to you before, casein coagulation, right? So we know that the casein plays a major and vital role in the formation of cheese. So here the rennet, you are going to add the rennet into the milk. I mean the acidified milk, the lactic acid, okay. You are going to add this rennet into that lactic acid which is present in the milk. And then what will happen when you go into add this rennet? The milk which is present in the liquid form will get converted into solid form such that the milk will get solidified and forms custard mass and forms a custard mass, right. So what you are going to do, you are going to add the rennet into this acidified milk and once you add this rennet, then the casein proteins which are present in the milk will get coagulated in such a way that the milk which is present in the liquid form will get converted into solid form. So we can say that the milk is solidified and forms custard mass, right? And now what is this rennet actually? Rennet is an enzyme which is, which is obtained from the stomach lining of a young calf, plants and microbes like fungus and yeast. So from these organisms, young calf plants and microbes like fungus and yeast, this rennet is obtained where it is a type of enzyme which is mainly added into the acidified milk such that it converts the liquid form of the milk into the solid form and forms like a custard mass, right? So now you have understood the major function of this rennet and what is this rennet actually, right? And now after this coagulation, I mean the custard mass has been formed, right? And that custard mass should get stirred continuously. Stirring is nothing but the mixing you are going to mix that custard mass, the solidified milk continuously. And then what will happen? Then the solidified milk will get converted into curds, right? So the solidified milk will undergo stirring continuously, right? Then what will happen? Then the solidified milk will get converted into curds. So here, after the formation of this curds, there are some amount of liquid molecules which are present in that curds and those liquid will be removed, okay? So after the formation of this curds, some of the liquid amount will be present in that curd itself and those liquid amount will get released out it will be protruded out and after this removal of this liquid material then that curds what curds will be obtained right and to that curds we are going to add the salts and that process is called as salting so to this curds where this liquid has been removed that liquid free curd will be added with salts and though that process is called as salting and in the next step what you are going to do and once the process of salting is done then it leads to the production of the cheese right 
it leads to the production of the cheese and then you are going to stop the temperature i mean the heat supply and you are going to remove the cheese and you are going to slice it slice them such that it, it should form a pieces and it should get packed and then it is applied to the markets and human beings will consume this cheese right so in this way the production of cheese occurs so if you like my explanation you can subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box thank you